I still feel something that is not quite electric, but close when I set foot on a stage. Before Harvard, my biggest audience was the congregation on any given Sunday at my church in my hometown, Sherall, South Carolina. It was there in the drive through of the local McDonald's that I opened the email. Tears running down my mom's face, a smile in my dad's voice. As I prepare to leave here, I still hope I make them proud. With every note I sing and with every role I play, I am learning to take up space. I sometimes tell people that I'm not supposed to be here. The story just doesn't add up. A black kid from the country who was silly enough to apply only to Harvard. But I'm here, and as I prepare to leave the free HUD's food in the late nights chasing down the shuttle back to the quad, I'm trying to go without apology. This place has definitely made my faith grow. My faith in God, my faith in the power of a drink and the world's best friends. But it has also challenged my faith in some ways. Sometimes I don't know if humanity's brightest corners can outshine the darkest. Sometimes it still doesn't feel quite right, me being here, even after four years. When I step out onto Sanders' stage or leave the dressing rooms of Farkas Hall, I am aware that these spaces were not built with me in mind. But the show must go on, as they say. The world around me challenges me more and more as commencement approaches, but I'm bound and determined to challenge the world just as hard. Some dear friends of mine stood up and said that we too were Harvard. I am Harvard, and I am privileged, and I am conscious, and I am myself in a thousand complicated ways because of this place. So thank you, Harvard, for teaching me to defy expectations. Every time a curtain goes up before me, I want the world to be surprised by what they see in me. <laughs>